Tonight, a Bennington couple wants young drivers to hear their message and see their story. They lost their oldest son to a distracted driving crash, but out of that sadness has come tremendous outreach. Here's my special report, faith, family, and a fatal mistake. The 2015 World Series, and this is us actually at the stadium. Um, and then these are our tickets from the game. Chris Haney shows me one of his proudest father-son moments. He and Marcus at Kauffman Stadium at the World Series in Kansas City in 2015. Father and son bonding over yeah, baseball. Yeah, it was awesome. It was one of the best moments I've ever had. Diana Haney clutches one of her favorite pictures of Marcus from June of 2014. Cap, gown, and sneakers to graduation at Omaha Christian Academy. The sneakers, he was being ornery, and he's got such a happy, joyful smile. But that family joy turned to utter tragedy just hours before Christmas Eve two years ago. Marcus was in the front seat, a passenger in an SUV that his friend was driving on 120th north of Blondo. The 19-year-old driver was speeding, racing another car. He lost control and slammed into a tree. About 6.45, we get a, a ring at the door. And I'm half asleep, and so I come down the stairs, and there's two police officers standing at the front door. I mean, I remember them looking at each other and then looking at us and saying, Marcus was in a, was in a crash last night. And, and they said, and he didn't make it. Marcus Haney was just 20 years old. He was so loving and so kind, giving. He always fought for the underdog. Marcus's parents say he wanted to become a police officer, be a positive influence, make a difference in his community. He had a dream to work in North Omaha with the at-risk youth. He will never get that chance. So the Haney's relying on their strong Christian faith have now founded an organization in his memory called P413. So P413 is for Philippians 413, which is I can do all things through Christ who, who strengthens me. Um, it's Marcus's life verse, if you will. Marcus is the reason we're doing what we're doing. And that is providing those scholarships to youth that maybe otherwise wouldn't be able to afford to go to a mission trip or to a camp or to a conference. Haney tells me so far they have raised more than $100,000 and given out 145 scholarships. They've linked up with other nonprofits, including the Abide Network in North Omaha, this past summer hosting a football camp. We had kids from West Omaha, we had kids from North Omaha kind of coming together um, at, at the camp. And whenever you kind of get the diversity, just cool things happen. There are different camps that obviously cost, uh, cost a little bit and they've been so gracious. Here at the scene, there are painful reminders of a young life lost. The driver, 19-year-old D'Angelo Peak, served 98 days in jail for motor vehicle homicide. The Haney's emphasize they forgive him. But that compassion comes with a stern warning to other young people about distracted driving. It's not worth it, whether you think it's just having a little fun speeding a little too fast or changing that radio station, checking that quick text. In a split second, you could be gone, or worse, you could be living with killing someone. All of the hopes and the dreams and the future that we had talked about with him, all gone. The Haney's believe the mock crashes that we often cover and that I speak at at local high schools during prom season carry a very important message about the dangers of distracted driving. They hope telling their story to young people makes a difference.